Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up the HDRI light using the very first SketchUp. Let's go. Now, we've all seen images of renders online or on Instagram where the sky and the mood changes. Either they have afternoons, um, afternoon moods, uh, morning scenes, snowy scenes, autumn scenes, whatever. All those images, they can all be done on post, but most of the artists use HDRI images to produce those. Now that comes to the definition of what a HDRI is. HDRI simply means high dynamic range image. It's used to simulate and emulate any real life lighting situations into your 3D visuals and renders. It's a great way to boost realism. I use it a lot in 90% of all my renders, including interior renderings, because the best way to simulate real life lighting instead of having to tweak a lot of settings. But the downside of it is you have to play along with whatever the lighting the image carries out. So if you have a, a midday lighting where the sun is directly above um, directly above the earth so just not, not that much light is going to come into the room opposed to uh, early morning lighting scenes or sunset lighting scenes so let's get into SketchUp and let's see how we're going to simulate this okay we're into the SketchUp scene right now and I have these two blocks I made that you saw in the thumbnail of this video so first things first I'm going to make a render with the normal V-Ray Sun and going to tweak settings in it. So I have everything on the various on at default, the intensity as one and the size as one. I'm just going to change the color mode from filter to override and look what happens when I do that. The override actually overrides whatever setting the various on has at default and it makes the color move with this color that I want here. So I have my color set as white, meaning the light I want is going to be white. If I set this as red, the lighting that is going to come from the sun is going to be red as you can see in the preview. So I'm going to change this back to white and then we to start the rem real render to show you the difference between the sunlight and the HDRI. Okay, as you can see the rendering is done and you can see the normal V-ray lighting. My lighting is white, I have my sharp shadows here and the sky is basically the sky model that V-ray has here. V-ray has four sky models here but none of them are as detailed or as realistic as what you want so I prefer using the basic Hosek et al. I don't know how they pronounce that, but that's how it's pronounced, I think. So, I'm going to use a HDRI image to make this more realistic. And I'm going to be using the HDRI that I use in the thumbnail, which I got from HDRI Haven. You can get the link to HDRI Haven in the description below. And just, or just simply go online right now on Google and simply search HDRI Haven. All their HDRIs are 100% free, but please make sure to support the artists and the, on their Patreon for the good work that they're doing because everything is free and they need to be supported. So kudos to those guys and thank them too. Okay, so we're going to clear this image right now. We're going to clear this and we're going to set in a dome light. Now the dome light is the tool in Vray that allows you to use HDRI images. So now, if you see here, you can, um, see here, activates the dome light tool. So when I click this, immediately you can see the mouse change to this black arrow with the dome light um, signature. Now what you need to do is to click on a surface. But before you do that, make sure to look down right here at the bottom left of the screen. It says, place a dome light in model open bracket hold shift key for no texture or control key to choose a texture file all right so now if i hold the shift key and i click means that no texture will be loaded into the dome light so i have no hdri image but if i hold control it immediately open up a folder where i have all my hdris but i'm going to hold the shift key for no texture because i'm going to use my own custom hdri so i'm holding the shift key and i click so it has dropped the HDRI into my image. And if I open the asset editor, I can see it in my new lighting tab. But remember, I held the shift key, so no texture. So that means no texture is into my HDRI slot. So it's just basically white. Okay, so I was speaking about HDRI Haven and check out the HDRI I got from there. The name is the sky is on fire. <laughs> okay, pretty cool name. So it's a 2K HDRI image. And I'm going to read I'm going to load this into the color slash texture HDRL HDRI bitmap space. I'm just going to drag this and drop into this. And once you see that the preview is going to change anytime soon. 
simply open this up and then this is the hgri that i've downloaded from hgri haven the sky is on fire you can see the um really cool name actually actually matches up to his name sky actually looks on fire and i move back here and then i check this box now this box isn't checked for me to use this hgri so once i check this you are going to see that hgri is going to be loaded into the preview okay so now we can see the hgri into the preview and we can see the shadows from it it's no longer the white light that we had from the previous color now you can see the intensity and the units the shape the use transform and adaptive now i'm going to walk you through what every single tool here actually does in the scene now as intensity we all know intensity specifies the strength of the light so if i increase this to let's say 10 you see in the preview that our light is going to get stronger okay now setting that to 10 means it became really really strong super bright for this image so i'm going to set this back to default as one just for preview sake and then here we have the units we have a uh, default scalar lumens luminance depending on whatever unit power and um, units of power you want to use in your image and everything let me quickly pause and start this live preview so now here we have shape controls whether the dome light covers the entire scene or only the half above the horizon line what they mean by horizon line this line right here and also this line it correlates with this line in our sketchup scene as you can see here this grayish line this is the horizon line in sketchup and this is the horizon line right here so simulating this meaning if it's a hemisphere it's only cover half of the scene but if i change this to a sphere it's going to cover everything meaning it's going to be global Okay, that's done. Now you can see the rest of the HDRI image. That means the whole scene is going to be the light. And if I put any model into this scene, it's going to be basically floating in the HDRI image. So that's why when you have renders of maybe a home with a fence, if it's fenced, you can use the hemisphere because you don't need to see other parts of the image. But if you want to do like live scenes of uh, an object placed on a map somewhere, you simply get the HDR image of that. Like how you can see in most of the car renders I do, for example, this one, simply place it on and then change it to sphere and you can use that. So now we have this use transform. When this is enabled, the HDR texture locks to the orientation of the V-ray dome widgets Ray dome viewport widget. Now that widget is this right here. Let me double the scale up by pressing S on my keyboard, which is a shortcut I set for scale. Okay, so now you can see this arrow. Let me raise it up. Now you can see this arrow pointing here. Now this arrow signifies the direction of the sun or the main source of light in the HDR image. So as this arrow is pointing here, meaning that my light is coming from this this side, this side of the image. So I'm going to do a quick render to show you how it is when it's pointing here. Simply click this use transform so I can use this to orient wherever I want my light to be coming from. Meaning if I rotate this to this place, my light is going to be coming from this part of the screen. Now, for the thumbnail that I made on the channel video, my light was coming from somewhere here, really behind the two glass boxes that I made. So you can see my, my sunlight was here and that's because I set the arrow to this point. So it's going to be somewhere here. But let me set this back to this point. Okay. So I'm, going to, I'm expecting my sunlight to be here. I'm expecting shadows to be cast this way. Okay. I'm going up to scene two. Okay. Let me not use scene one. Go up to scene two and I'm going to do a quick render with that. And I'm going to increase the density of my light to let's say... 17 let's go 18 let's go 18 now the preview might take a while but let's hit the render and see what we have but well, first things first disable the sunlight that's really important disable the sunlight because when the two of them merge together you're going to have double shadows and that's going to be really really bad so you have to turn off the other to use the other but sometimes you can use the two of them i'm going to drop a tutorial on how to use the dome and the sunlight very soon if you want to know, get notified on where i'm dropping that video hit that subscribe button going to be coming out in the next couple of days so stay anticipated for that but first thing is we're going to disable the sunlight and then this dome light is going to be our only source of light so let's hit the render and find out what we have okay as our light catch is already building we can already see the hdri image loaded in and we note remember we changed this 
from hemisphere to sphere so that means uh, light covers the entire whole scene so we can see what's below over here right here and we also click this use transform so we can use this so as anticipated you can see the shadows of this hdri they are pretty soft so i'm not expected to see really really sharp shadows but if i zoom into the image right now as the image is rendering you can see that the shadows have a bit of a direction to them so that means light is coming in from this part of the image all right so let's get moving we're going to render finished okay so that's basically how to load up a hdri and then if i move this for our lights to come from this point okay and then i render again you simply see that light is going to come from this point we're expecting shadows right here okay our light catch is building so also note that as you rotate the source of light the hdri also rotates so this image was taken on a port i'll say a port yeah near a beach or near the sea cityscape and everything so like i said you can use this fair option this fair option if you want to render like a car or any object in the scene let's say you can place a car here and then you have like a realistic car looking as if it's in the scene but at the same time as you rotated the uh, widget now as the sun is this way so notice we can't see it from here because it's really really far away down here and as expected our shadows are over here because the sunlight is coming in from here okay that'll be all for this video on how to set up the hdri light using very for sketchup uh like i said i'm going to be dropping a video on when i'm going to use it of how i'm going to use it use it for interior lighting which is going to be very important because you get a lot of questions on how to use it for interior lighting so you can just simply hit that subscribe and then you get notified on when the video is coming out so i anticipate uh to speed that video and also any further questions just hit me down in the comments anywhere that wasn't clear in the video i'll make sure to answer every single question that is asked uh, thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace